<laughs> Are there any other funny buttons that we should know about? Uh, maybe in your car, but I don't know what kind of car you drive. Yes? How do you feel about having your laptop monitor down near your projector so that as you're out in front there, you can see that? Do you have a problem with that? No, 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 no. I, I don't have a problem with that at all. In fact, it's most advantageous if your laptop can between, be between you and your listeners, although I would not choose to put it on an lectern. And that is so you don't have to turn around. But in a situation like this, I, I can do this. I'm not really, look, I'm not turning my back on you. Plus, I know this presentation, which is important. I, won't, I don't have to look at the screen as much as you would if you're putting together a presentation at the last minute. You don't really know what the next slide is. We'll talk about that. Yes, sir? Is there a time that you can't use the lectern if you have some notes specifically have Yes, of course. There are times when you could use the lectern. In any formal speaking situation, you would want to use a lectern in any situation where you're reading from notes. Now, here's the problem, reading from notes. Do you know that a different part of your brain is involved when you read and when you speak? So if you read your notes to listeners, it won't be a very interesting dynamic for them. Having someone read to us is not too interesting after the age of two or so. <laughs> You know, I had a friend, a director friend, who, whose son would say to him, you know, he's a director in the theater, so his son would say to him as he read bedtime stories, Dad, just read it, because he would be performing all the roles, you know, and the kid was like, you know, most parents maybe don't have that kind of dramatic, but he was like, Dad, just read it, I don't need all that. 